Well, greetings once again to my shop. Today's project is going to be this necklace or pendant. And I made it for my wife, not for me. So in a second, I'm going to show you how I did this. And in my research, I found there's just a ton of information on YouTube on making a necklace with wooden parts like this. And I think I'm going to try to do something a little bit different, something I didn't see. Anyway, how to chuck this up and uh, turn one of these pieces on this necklace. A quick shout out to all the people who have come to my shop over the years for wood turning classes. Recently I had Jeff in my shop for a couple days from Mississippi. We had a great time. Jeff is a really good student. Allison was here a month or so ago. Anyway, I really appreciate it. And uh, anyway, let's go on with the project. Now the combinations of wood and designs are endless. And I've just got this wrapped around a little bit of a shoelace here. And I've got some spalted tamarind and some Australian burl, pink ivory. And you can just rearrange these any way you want. Today I'm going to focus on this part right here. And you can simply make the entire pendant or necklace out of that one piece. And, and what I'm going to do is take a little bit of redwood burl and make that part right there. And that comes from this block of wood. So that should be uh, very pretty. And the main thing I'm going to try to show you is just the way I chuck that up. Now I'm going to take this apart and just show you the different uh, bits of wood that I turned to make this. This larger piece is a piece of Bacote. In my research I found a very interesting video by Alan Stratton and you can find his YouTube channel, As Wood Turns, and he did a very, very unique and different kind of off-center video. And uh, So you might check him out. That was pretty cool. So let's uh, get on with the project here. All right, here's another shot of the piece of wood I'm going to use. That's going to be really pretty, a redwood burl. Now there's a lot of ways we can chuck this up. I think double stick tape would be a really, really good option, but I'm going to do something maybe a little bit different, I don't know. So here's my piece of wood and I've got the corners cut off from my bandsaw. I've got a center on that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my tail stock up, line that up right there, lock her in tightly. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just make this round. Okay, I've got that rounded over and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of a spigot on that to go into these long nose jaws. Now as I do this, I'm going to use the same chuck that I've got in my lathe right now so I can kind of eyeball how big my spigot needs to be and I'm going to use my point tool to do this. Now this piece of wood is some Bacote that I had from my previous project on that necklace. So that's all ready to go and you can see I just put a little spigot on that to hold that in there. Put that in. Now at this point I really don't need my tailstock. But the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to just face that off. Clean that up just a little bit. And I just got a scraper here that I'll just very quickly clean that up. Now another reason I'm doing this particular chucking method is that I saw some 
projects on videos where they would take a large piece of wood and cut behind it and profile it and it seemed like there was a lot of waste in that process so uh, I've got my drill bit set up and I'm going to make a relatively small hole in this this is one of my uh, Morse taper drill bits twist drill so turn the speed down a little bit Now what I have is a recess in there. I've got a hole through my wood blank with walls that are absolutely parallel. And that'll help me when I go to put this into a jam chuck, which I'm going to do right now. Now I'm chucking up into my lay the piece of wood that's going to be used as my jam chuck. This will be the female spigot that'll go into my little bit of uh, redwood pendant Rough that down with a spindle roughing gouge, and then I'm going to take an English bedan, which is a Carter and Son tool, and work that down to the right diameter for my piece. And I'll just go back and forth and try that and work my way in, and that'll be held with that jam chuck. All right, I'm right there with my jam chuck. I'm going to do a little bit of fine tuning on that. You need to make it just a little bit longer. Now in the last couple of videos you may have seen me using one of the Carter and Son tools. In the next video or two that's going to come out I'm going to do a review on these tools. Now I'm bringing my tailstock up just to jam that on there and I'm going to take it away. From this point on, I really don't need my tailstock. So I think what I'm going to do is just make a little bit of a taper or a chamfer here and one over here. Now I'm going to take one of my spindle gouges and just clean up the space as best I can. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a different profile on the front than on the back. I'm going to do a little bit of sanding on this surface right here and then I'll reverse it and finish that. And I'll also put some finish on this face. A little 220. A little 320. 400. And I'm being careful not to make this too sharp, so I'll take a little bit of that sharpness away there. Now I'm putting a little bit of my triple E on this face right here. And I'm going to try to get it on the inside just a little bit. I'm not going to try sanding that or anything, just so it's a little bit finished. We'll buff that up. Develop a little bit of heat. And we'll put a little bit of shallow wax on that. I'm going to turn my lathe speed down. Let's 
spread that out a little bit. All right, very pretty. I like that a lot. Now, so far my jam chuck has worked really well. And let's see how well it's worked. Maybe, maybe too much. Here we have it. So I'm going to reverse chuck this. It went on a little bit easier. So now I'm going to shape the uh, back side of it. Or it could be the front side, whatever. Who knows? Who knows? A little bit of a chamfer on that. Well, this nice piece of redwood is very soft and was a pleasure to sand and finish. Didn't go quite this fast, but uh, it really wasn't too bad, and the result is really nice. Now, in real time, that probably took me 20 minutes to make that. That's not too bad. So let me take this off, and I'll put it back in my shoelace, and I'll model it for you. Well, what do you think? I like it, and I hope my wife does too. Now, there are many, many variations on design and technique and how to turn different elements of a pendant or a necklace. Uh, this is just one of them, and I hope it gives you some ideas. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll talk to you later.